fun continues. Now we uh, are going to spend a few minutes uh, learning how to stretch a canvas. We're going to stretch a unprimed canvas and uh, later on in a separate video we can uh, go over the, the more complex details of uh, stretching an existing painting where you have to match the frame to the, uh, to the actual painting. But for now we're going to stretch uh, an unprimed canvas and here's a 20 by 30 inch stretcher, it's a professional stretcher, and uh, if you're wrapping the canvas on the back, and that's called gallery wrap style, you'll need enough canvas to cover the sides and, and, uh, and, and come over the back, so in this case uh, it works well to have about 4 inches of canvas sticking out beyond the edges. If it's a 20 by 30 frame, then you'd want a 28 by 38 canvas. So that's what we'll cut out of this uh, canvas that I've got here. So step one is to simply uh, pull the canvas hand tight and staple it in the center. I like to start with three staples. And then the next step is to pull on the opposite side. Now you can do this with, with uh, canvas pliers. And normally it's easier to work pulling closer to you, so I'll flip this stretcher and just put a little bit of tension on it. Hold it with one hand. Again, three staples. We'll repeat the same procedure on the opposite two sides. Now, we can continue by applying staples, starting in the center and moving out towards the corners. What you have to remember though is that to, to do the corners you need to leave at least six inches of unstapled canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to staple the long sides right through and we're going to leave six inches which is about that length there. So. so, that part is done. Now we got to do the corners, and that's where there's a little bit of a, a trick. But uh, it's uh, once you practice it and do it a few times, uh, you'll, you'll get the hang of it, and it's uh, it's actually quite easy. So the important thing to remember before you do the corners is that you staple two opposing sides right to the end and it's good to staple it right to the very edge and that you leave enough free canvas and we usually like to leave about six inches free to do the corner. The trick is that you want to run your finger up the corner and you, you create a fold on top and that fold you just run back at 45 degrees. And you can staple that in, just one staple to hold it and then you're left with some material that you can you can uh, by adjusting. See, I can adjust it different ways. I can tuck a lot of material in and end up with a fold that comes inside the corner. What looks nice is to have that fold line up with the corner. So you adjust the material that's left over so that you end up with a nice clean fold. Okay, the final corner again. By running your finger up, you create this fold. Bring the fold back at 45 degrees. Staple that fold in. And then take the leftover canvas and just fold it so it fits just inside the, the edge of the, the bar. Staple that into place. Once the corners are finished, you can finish the whole side. Scatter pliers. And here we go. Drum tight. 
Now you don't actually have to stretch it quite this tight. This is this is nice because a primed an unprimed canvas. Uh, once you apply gesso, it will tighten up even more. And it's possible if you put too much tension in the initial stretch that once you put on the the gesso, the tension becomes so high that the frame starts to buckle. Uh, that's that's something you want to avoid. So. If you're working with unprimed canvas, a nice medium tension applied to the unprimed canvas is all you need. And uh, so many people simply use their, the strength of their own hands to put the tension on, and that's that's good enough. If your hands aren't quite as strong and you prefer the the grip of a of a, uh, canvas pliers, then then uh, certainly this is a a good option, a good tool to have in your toolbox. But it doesn't hurt to uh, try just pulling it by hand if you've got uh, fairly good uh, strength in your, in your grip.